Good morning folks, Drew's Farming Life is back again. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what you're up to these fine days, how you are, and uh, whether or not you enjoy my video, of course. Please do not forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Or subscribe. Wow. Also, my Instagram is in the description below, so if you feel free to follow that, that'll be grand. Me on the other hand, my heat is a bit cold, my napper has been scalped. So, aye, it's a bit short. <laughs> Heat's getting cold, so you might see the hat on a bit more of the day. So today we're actually bringing cattle in from the moor, so I'll likely have to use a drone. <laughs> I have the cable this time, don't worry. Uh, so I'll fly them in, but then now I've got two loads to feed and I think we're going to be separating some cattle to put in the reed. So that'll be more for the 135 and then the ones from the moor will be coming back and going in the cubicles with the bull and then another day we'll get the ones from out the back of the moor uh, and they'll be going in the slats because they're bollocks. So that's what's happening, let's get straight to it. <laughs> Here, here. Shh. Psh, 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 psh. They want to see more of you. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Right, on my way now to get these cattle back, young heifers and a bull. Bull's a wee Frisian -y bugger, so he should be alright. So, uh, not seen them for a bit. I think Dad's been keeping an eye on them, so surely they'll be alright. Um, so, I will head down, get them into the fight we built last year, I think it was, out of the crash barriers. and. Uh, Aye, we cut up old crash barriers last year, concreted in some poles and welded them all together, so it's uh, pretty robust and I don't think it will break in any, any time soon, so uh, nothing can jump over it too, which is perfect. Uh, so I we don't need to worry about any, anything like that. Uh, so, aye, I'll get away down. The cattle might be in by, they might be close and they might be hungry enough that they'll come to a shake of the pail. But if they're away out the back, I do have my drone and I do have my cable to fly to go get them. So that should save a bit of time. Uh, which should be perfect. Which means we can stand in the bottom and guide them into the fank, which will save a lot of time and effort. <laughs> so lazy but because it's there why not use it as I've said before. <laughs> My napper is freezing by the way. I get the heating up here a wee bit. The rest of it feels fine. Just this napper of mine. Might have took a bit much off the sides. I think it looks alright to be fair but that is cold. <laughs> we have arrived and I am already disappointed. Because they're right here! Again! Oh. I'm never going to get to use it to bring them in. 
Oh. They're all coming running down to the pail of cake. Pickup obviously goes ahead because it's faster. And uh, they're literally just walking out to the cattle now with the pail. Oh. And they're all coming running over. <laughs> Another day. Now there's still a bunch to come in up the top. Maybe I'll get them with it. Well, if they come through into this big 100 acre odd park to come down to the fank, so I might need it anyway. Never know. <laughs> Right Maggie, you'll need to stay here. Come on then. Come on then. Oh, that was lucky. Well, Maggie, I don't think you could have helped too much. Mm. So, right, get down. Stay there. Well, that went all right. I have seen it going far worse. Uh, the wee jersey is a common culprit on most farms, I've heard they're just uh, stubborn wee buggers causing problems so glad to get them in they have to do a wee turn get reversed in to get loaded up yes, that is what I'm about to do take my tractor for a wee swim in the quarry Makes a good turning point for turning my tractor because it is, well, it's hard surface underneath. <laughs> so, means I don't need to go out to the field and potentially cause a mess. Now to not bugger up my reversing into the flank. Should be alright. Just wait on getting shouted at. I do! Get the door down first and then decide whether or not it's alright. Fibber a wee bit.
Come on. Come on, Ed. 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 Up. 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 Come on, up. Up. On you go. Set, set, that's set. That went good, that went very good. Very happy with that. Do about the wind. Get the hat off. <laughs> That's the best loading I've done for a while, I think. It's usually stressful. Usually problems. What? Get him. Get him, Maggie, get him. That dog is half its nut. Right. Quite lucky with the weather because it was starting to get quite drizzly when we were heading up here and it's calmed down, but a couple of rainbows about. The weather looks worse over there. Can't really see the hills. Which means it's coming this way. Great. <laughs> Just realised I keep saying that they're in calf heifers. I mean that they should be in calf heifers. <laughs> They've been with a bull. So aye. So they should be in calf because they're with the bull. Uh, the bull is working. We have had some calf, uh, some heifers testing positive uh, on the PDing. So that means that he is working. He is getting them in calf. So I think this was his second batch uh, since we started using them. He's just a wee young Frisian bull. Um, so I'm going to be taking them round the back and he, these guys are going in next to the calving lot. There's cubicles in there, I think Dad is about to bed them up. So, I think Dad's about to bed them up. And then that means that when they get out, they'll hopefully want to try and lie in the beds because they're nice and dry and comfy. If not, we'll need to rethink again. Uh, We don't generally try and put the heifers in with the bull in the cubicles because of slippage. However, the bull is young and he's small, so that shouldn't be a problem. He's light enough for them, so that shouldn't cause problems. Whereas our old bull, he would have flattened anything that he jumped on in there. On in, out. Out. Come on in. Come on. Come on. First load done, now to go back for the second load. Second load has got the bull in it, so it'll go fine because he's young, unless he's changed in a year. I doubt it. He was a nice wee bull when he came. So, hopefully it'll be fine. But all can change very quickly as known with Holstein or Frisian 
cattle, well, bulls. <laughs> they turn very nasty. So Dad's got the float on to make sure that we don't need to do two runs, another two runs, sorry. I believe there was 25, that first load had 11 on it. I'll get another 11 on this one and then I think three will go in the back of the wee float on the feathers pick up so that'll just get everyone home nifty time you know safe doing an another unnecessary run with the big tractor and float well we're back up here now and they're still in their pen so that's a good start <laughs> Came new. Boy. Boy. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Shh. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. Shh, 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 shh. That's it. That's it. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One in. One in. Shh, shh, shh. Here. Up. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Shh, shh, shh. Come on in. Shh, 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 shh. Come on. Come on, Roger. Come on. Shh. Come on. Come on in. Come on then, up, up, shh, yeah, there, there, right, right, come on, up, 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 come on, here, come on, come on. Stick his head under the gate now. Wouldn't be the first. Just <laughs> lucky now. Just waiting on it. That went well. Quite a nice natured wee bull that. Thought they were doing a bit more fight there, but no, that was fine, pretty good. Just the fear of them putting their heads under the gate at the end there, but that ain't no bad. Get them home, get them back in the cubicles. Job's a good one. <laughs> so we just went away out the top and opened the gate to allow these guys that were up the back through into here. That means that when we do let them through into here, well, if we were to let them through into here when we're going to get them, they're not going to start running about like idiots and uh, struggle to get them in the fank. But they've all kind of came running down here anyway. Could almost maybe have put them in if there was more folk, but usually they'd come through and start dancing about running around. So. It was to take the excitement out of them that they were getting into a new bit if we let them through here, you know. That was the idea, so now they're in here, there's not going to be that potential problem. So we'll get them in another day. I keep saying this, but hopefully next time I get to use my drone.
I like flying it, it's fun. Sorry I didn't really get much of a chance to explain what was going on with the bank there, uh, or give you a rundown of the way it's been built, but uh, i just busy loading them, trying to get on, you know. So sorry about that, but I'm pretty sure you could probably see from the footage how it works, you know, two pens and then a kind of separation gate to the loading bay and then I pretty much how it works and yeah, it was took a bit of time to build because it's metal, concrete, welding, you know, but it'll be there for years. It'll never break. It'll never break. That's uh, that's the best thing about it all. Dad's unloaded his three and he's just finished hosing it out I think so now I will get myself into position to offload these beasts my turn instead of reversing in this time I'm going to drive right forward swing this gate in behind me and that gate there and then that means that I am in position to hose the float out as well I think that's a good idea. That's them all home anyway, so thank you all for watching, we'll see you all next time, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. I already said that, hadn't I? <laughs> Cheers guys.